regulator to pieces you can clean it easily and install it and that's one of the big advantages the other big and main advantage which we favour uh, with this spring is the fact that because it's quite long there's about nine millimeters of travel within it and so for the fitter and user to adjust the pressure output pressure of the regulator is relatively easy with one turn of the adjuster screw equaling one millimeter and one millimeter roughly equaling 15 bar and so there's quite a lot of travel that you, that you know in the adjustment and it's quite easy for the customer to do that themselves if they know that the regulator was set at say 100 bar from new and they wanted to turn it up to 115 bar then one millimeter one turn out on the screw is fairly reliable for doing that and that's a very important feature where we found in the past with the Belleville spring washers because the stack tends to be uh, shorter in length given a shorter regulator the amount of travel is also a lot less and therefore sometimes one turn of the adjuster screw we found can be between 20 and 40 bar it can be quite quite a lot and so therefore it's not quite so easy for the customer to adjust themselves and so we think that that's quite a quite a big bonus on a simple regulator for you to ser install service and, and use yourself The main disadvantage with the conventional round section coil compression spring over the Belleville spring washers is the size constraints in manufacture. Uh, you can only really get the spring down to a particular diameter uh, and length for the application where the Belleville spring washers are extremely slim by comparison. So for this example, if you look at this uh, BSA spring as their regulator. I'm not an expert on springs, but I have worked with them a little bit, and I would hazard a guess that this spring is really on the limits of high pressure spring manufacture in the fact that the gauge of the wire used in its construction, in comparison to the size of the hole down at its centre and its overall diameter, I would say that's really the short fat and as big a gauge wire that you could possibly use in a conventional uh, coil spring. One of the problems we've come across with them in this respect is when we wanted to make these very small little regulators like you see here, there's the piston and that's the spring of the stack of Belleville spring washers and that's the knife edge face for going onto the seal. Uh, we wanted to use a conventional spring if at all possible because of how good they've been in the past and the lack of uh, problems and traumas that we've had with them. However, when we approached a spring manufacturer and they made a couple of little springs for us with, whoops, with the tooling that they'd got available to them, if we can get them on there so you can see them, trying to make a spring that's very small of extremely thick wire gauge material can be difficult. And after asking other people, the fact that to make it they were going to have to make some special tooling up and for the small quantity we wanted it wasn't really going to be possible or economically possible we had some here you can see this is made out of hopefully if i can get it under the camera in the right place that's made out of a square section gauge wire as opposed to the, the round but we couldn't get anywhere near the the force that we required where when we switched over and we had some samples come of the little belleville washers then we could easily stack these up and get the, get the uh, force pressures that were required in the, this particular regulator. So obviously these are quite small and you can use them to make quite a small regulator. So that's one of the main benefits of the Belleville washers. Uh, with the regulator that was a big disadvantage with a conventional coil spring. When it comes to the Belleville or spring washers, they're very similar to a conventional washer that you might find at home. They can come in different diameters, uh, different hole sizes in the center, and they can be manufactured out of different gauges, which is the thickness of material. Obviously the thickness of the metal used will obviously alter you know, the compression force that you can apply to them uh, for them to spring up and down. The compression force on them can also be altered 
by doubling them up. So if you were to get two or three and place, paste the cones on top of each other, then this will double the force or triple the force required to press them down, etc. The disadvantage being that the amount of movement is still the same and on these it's very limited comparison to your conventional coil spring. If you see them on this piston here you can see how they're stacked. These are just stacked in pairs back to back. Now the main issue that we've found with regulators and problems with regulators when using these washers, if you look at this shape and the edges how they sit on top of each other because it's sort of a cone sitting on a cone if they don't line up perfectly every single time and they move about a bit you can end up with a different pressure reading and so it's important if you're making your own regulator that the, the spool size that they fit on is correct and also that the hole the bore of the piston that you're putting them down is correct and so that they won't uh, move about too much if they're on there they line up fairly well and there's not much wobble there has to be enough for them to move about a little bit because obviously the outside diameter and the inside diameter of the, of, the, of the washer alters when it presses up and down so it can't be a tight fit into the hole and it can't be a tight fit on the stem but if it's too loose like say on this part of the stem here as you can hopefully see you know when the stack goes back together if you press on it look you can have them at all sorts of angles and this wouldn't give a uh, wouldn't give a very good uh, pressure reading if that kept moving about so it is very important with the Belleville washers that you do get the correct dimensions for them to line up I have on occasions seen far more expensive and better versions of the, of the washer and that is where the whole surface is polished but the top edge here and the bottom edge this has been held flat on a magnetic grinding bed and a grind has been passed over and you've ended up with a flat small flat on the top and a small flat on the bottom and so that then when they're stacked together they mate up far better if you're wondering why this often isn't the case with the uh, Bellville's that are used in air gun regulators is because these washers are actually quite expensive really for what you know what they appear to be uh, the polished ones that I've seen with the ground tops and bottoms have been up to a pound each uh, depending on what material they're in so if you're going to put a regulator together and you're going to use you know between 10 and 20 of the, of the washers you're looking at a very high price uh, before you've even before you've even started on the job so they tend not to be uh, used people tend to you know try and stick to these conventional ones now there's do's and don'ts with these washers so if you're going to build your own regulator I'll just mention a couple of a couple of those and that will hopefully help you this is a body out of the old BSA cigar regulator and normally the spring fits in it and it's quite a loose fit but because this is a one piece unit and the ends are ground off flat and the pistons also square that goes in it doesn't really matter that that's a really loose fit however if you were going to make a regulator along the same lines and you were just hoping to get a set of spring washers pop them in the hole and then put your piston in on top of them uh, this could lead to a bit of a disaster because as I mentioned these really need to be uh, guided both outside and inside so if you're going to make a regulator like this I would advise that you make yourself some form of central uh, telescopic spool to hold the uh, Belleville washers in place so that when the piston goes up and down the washers don't move about otherwise you could end up with inconsistent readings uh, the other thing with these types of Belleville washers again relates to this being able to move about in the stack uh, if you've got a gun with like a, a buddy bottle like the BSA or a Theoban or a gun that you're going to let the air out of at some point if these washers are in a stack 
or in a situation where they could possibly move if the pressure is removed, then if they do move about, if the gun gets knocked or the regulator gets jiggled whilst the gun's in pieces, then it's liable not to give you the same pressure reading when you reassemble it and refill the gun with gas. So these washers need to really be under some form of compression. Uh, the best example of this I shall show you now. This pitch here is a pitch I've downloaded from the internet of a Ben Taylor regulator for the rapid range and this is a very good solution to the problem with the Belleville washers in regards to them being able to move about especially if the pressure is removed from the chamber so they're under no compressive force uh, because obviously on the rapid once you take the bottle off of this end the chamber in here the air has also gone in there and so on the sort of conventional design you know the piston moves about when there's no pressure in there these washers can move about and so this problem is overcome by having a limited movement on the piston in here but more movement by this nut and the compression on the Belleville washers at this end so that when the air is removed from the chamber uh, when the bottle is taken off these washers still stay under compressive force and aren't liable to move and give a different pressure reading when the bottle is reattached and the chamber is repressurized. And this is the same on the regulator that they supply uh, to fit into other air rifles, you know, more conventional air rifles. It's of the same design. And so these Belleville washers are on a good internal uh, pin of the right size in here. So that's the, this pin's the right size. And then they're constantly kept under the compressive force by this nut. And so this is a very good design for the use of bell wheel washers and if you're going to design and manufacture your own regulator for your own air rifle then you need to think about trying to keep the bell wheels under a constant uh, compressive force. So to some